Good afternoon, children. Today's composition topic is comprehension. Children, a comprehension is a passage given to you. You have to read it carefully and then answer some questions. So let's begin. I am John and I am a dentist. I check your teeth and gums. Some patients come to my office with very bad toothaches. I treat all my patients properly and tell them to smile always. In my free time, I love to sing. So children, this is the passage given to you. And these are the questions. There are options given to you. Let's do the first one. John is a dash. Doctor, teacher or dentist. What is John? Dentist. Second, John checks our teeth and dash. What is the answer here? Gums. You have to choose the answer from the passage. See, I check your teeth and gums. So the question asked, John checks our teeth and gums. The options were hair, tongue and gums. Children, gums means not the glue that you use, but gums also mean the pink portion in your mouth, which sets your teeth together. Where the teeth grow from, those are called the gums. Third, how does John treat his patients? Options are properly, badly or happily. What is given in the passage? I treat all my patients properly. So the correct answer is properly. What does John love to do in his free time? Dance, sing or sleep? What is given in the passage? In my free time, I love to sing. So which is the correct answer? Sing. Let's do another one. The post office. This is a post office. We can send letters from here. The postman delivers letters. Julie is sending a letter to Sam. We can also buy stamps from the post office. So this is the little passage given to you. And these are the questions. There are options here as well. Where can we send the letters from? Hospital, post office or bank? Which is the correct answer? We can send letters from here. Here means the post office. So the correct answer is post office. Who delivers the letters? A postman, a cobbler or a doctor? What is given in the passage? The postman delivers letters. So which is the correct answer? A postman. Who is sending a letter to Sam, Kate, Julie or Ben? What is given in the passage? Julie is sending a letter to Sam. So the correct answer is Julie. What can we buy from the post office? Shoes, bed or stamps? What is given in the passage? We can also buy stamps from the post office. So the correct answer is stamps. So you see children, you have got all your answers from the passage given to you. This is a comprehension. Another one. My little brother. I am Billy. He is my younger brother Thomas. He is five years old. 
He loves playing football. I help him with his studies. He is very cute and I love him. So this is a little passage given to you children. Now you have to answer some questions. Here too there are options given to you. What is the name of Billy's little brother? What is the name of his brother? It's in the passage. He is my younger brother, Thomas. So his name is Thomas. His brother is dash years old. How old is he? Check the passage. Five. So your correct answer is five. Which sport does he love to play? What is and the options given to you? Cricket, hockey, football. What is given in the passage? He loves playing football. So the correct answer is football. Who helps him in his studies? Options are Billy, mother, father. Here in the passage, it is given, I help him with his studies. Who is the I? Billy. So the correct answer is Billy. So you see children, you have answered questions from the passage. Now let us do a little different kind of comprehension. Children, now let's do a different kind of comprehension. This is a passage given to you and these are the questions. Now there are no options given to you like A, B, C. You have to find the answer from this passage. So let's begin reading. One day, two friends, Danish and Ruba, went to the park. On the way, they saw a wounded bird on the ground. The bird's wing was hurt. They looked around and saw their friend with a slingshot. They knew that he had wounded the bird. They were angry with their friend and shouted at him. Danish picked up the wounded bird and Dhruva gave the bird some water. Immediately, they took the bird home and asked their mother to help bandage the bird's wing. They took care of the bird till it was ready to fly again. Now let us answer these questions here. Answer the following. Where were the two friends going? Now you have to find the answer from the passage. Can you tell me the answer? Now here it is given. One day two friends Danish and Dhruva went to the park. But the question asks where were the two friends going? So your answer should be according to your question. The two friends. You have to begin like this. So your answer will be the two friends were going to the park. Now you see children, you have began the sentence with a capital letter and ended it with a full stop. That is how a sentence should be. Always begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop. The next question. What did they see on the ground? Now you look at the answer. Where can you find it? On the way, they saw a wounded bird on the ground. So what did they see on the ground? You have to answer according to the question. They, the word see becomes saw. They saw a wounded bird on the ground. So your answer is they saw a wounded bird on the ground. Next one. What did Danish do to the bird? Can you find the answer, children? Yes, Danish 
picked up the wounded bird. So what did Danish do to the bird? Your answer will be Danish picked up the wounded bird. Now children, we have finished with answer the following. We will do fill in the blanks. You have to find the answer from the passage. Fill in the blanks. They saw their dash with a slingshot. You know what's a slingshot? A slingshot in Hindi is called catty. They have a little rubber, a V kind of a twig and a rubber shot and you put a stone or something and you pull it and you can throw the stone far away. So the friend had used a slingshot. So the answer is they saw their dash with a slingshot. Whom did they see? Can you tell me the answer? Yes, they saw their friend with a slingshot. So your answer here will be friend. Dhruva gave the bird some dash. What is the answer here, children? If you have listened to the passage properly, you would be able to answer without looking in the passage. Dhruva gave the bird some water. So your answer is water. Complete the following. Now your children, only few words are given to you. You have to complete it till the first full stop. Till there you have to do a complete the following. They took care and then there's a big dash. Where, did, where can you find these words? They took care. Yes, here. They took care. Now where is the first full stop? Here. So you have to write all this right till here. They took care of the bird till it was ready to fly again. So that is your answer. They took care of the bird till it was ready to fly again. They were angry with and then there is a dash. So find the words they were angry with. Where is it? They were angry with and then you continue the sentence till the first full stop. The full stop ends here. That means you have to write only till here. Don't continue. They were angry with their friend and shouted at him. That is your answer. Give another word for. Give another word for means give the meaning of the words given to you. Now here it is hurt. Hurt. What is another word in this passage for hurt? Or was hurt? Wounded. Correct. So, the bird was wounded. It was hurt. A place where children play. What is the word in the passage that tells you that? Park. So, your answer is park. So you see children, you have answered so many different kinds of questions from the passage given to you. Thank you children. I hope you have understood how to do a comprehension.